but it's been brought to my attention that the Google SketchUp web app will not allow you to um, alter the shade or the color of the materials. So if I want to change the color of this flooring, normally I would click on um, this button and then it would let me, but um, sometimes it lets you go into a particular menu um, like here and then it wants you to upgrade um, and pay money. So if you don't want to do that, which I imagine you don't want to, um, I found a little bit of a workaround. Um, it's not perfect, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to find what you need. So um, I'm going to give you a link for uh, this website called sketchuptexture.com. Uh, it's royalty free, which means that whoever designed it um, allows you to use it. You can see that they've got all different kinds of materials in this uh, website. Um, nature elements, they've got materials, they've got architecture stuff. So uh, you can click on the free items and see what's there that you uh, want to use. Um, I just demoed or I just downloaded this um, this wood one to, de to demo for you. So I clicked here to download and it brought me to this one, uh, this website where I click the download button and once it's downloaded it looks like this and you double click it and it opens up into a file because it's zipped which means it's a larger file so I'm just gonna click this arrow and if you scroll the first few are kind of circular but if you um, oops see now you can see um, so hopefully if you're looking for a particular wood color you can find it here so once you find uh, let's say we want I don't know, one of these we open up our Google SketchUp folder or our, um, what we're whatever we're working on and you click on this folder and click insert and you're going to click your computer and open up this folder and you can click the thumbnails if you want to see it better so let's say we want this one and click open now it's going to ask you if you want it to be image or material. Um, I'm just going to click image and I'm just going to click to place it and then I will resize it. Um, I'm going to type in 12 feet comma 12 feet so that it's the same size as my floor and then I'm going to get my, oops it's right here, my move tool and I'm going to move it into place. Okay so hopefully in that website you'll be able to find what you need but check this out this is really cool um, let's say you want some artwork for your room and uh, you can google uh, whatever it is that you want to put um, maybe you're doing art deco um, what you can do is type in art deco um, art and then let's say we want to put a picture of this uh, so what you would do is open it and save it maybe crop it a bit before you bring it in but I've already saved a, a pineapple, so I'm going to make a piece of art um, on my wall with this pineapple. Um, so I'm going to go here, insert my computer, and I'm just going to go back to downloads and back to my list, my pineapple. I'm going to click image. Okay, now whatever surface I touch or axes I'm on is the direction it will go. You can always rotate it later if it comes in wrong. But I'm going to click this here. Now, if I were to bring an artwork and just place it like this, it does not look right. It doesn't look right because it's flush, it's flat against the wall. Artwork doesn't do that unless it's a poster and, and really posters are a little juvenile to have in a in a room so um, what you want to do I'm just gonna undo that is first you want to create a rectangle I didn't put that at the right height it's gonna bother me I'm gonna do a rectangle here and I'm gonna push pull it out one inch which is generally the size of a canvas and then I will bring in oh actually what I'm gonna do is go to my materials find this will do for now and I'm going to paint the edge so that it looks like a nice piece of art 
and I would go around and paint all the sides, okay? And I'm going to click Insert uh, my computer, grab my pineapple again, image. I'm going to touch this corner, try and get it as close as I can. Oops. And then I'm going to use, um, right behind this move is the scale tool, oops, scale. And always scale from the corners first and then if it still doesn't match then you can grab the other corners. I'm just going to orbit around a bit here and then scale it to match. Okay, so now we've got, I need to adjust the top and bottom a little bit more. Okay, and now you can see it looks like a canvas on the wall now, okay? If you have any other questions, let me know and I'll record a video to show you.